All right, so we're talking about the final exam now, okay? So on the final exam, guys, um, one thing you gotta understand is that you're gonna do all the components of, let me share my screen here. You're gonna do all these opponents of, um, to all these fitness concepts, okay? And in each one, you're gonna have a warm up section, your main area, and your cool down, which are gonna be flexibility. So if I pull up my other graphic organizer, so I have one up, and go to the finals week, boom, 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 I almost have it done so far. I go to all my pages real quick. You can tell I have all these pages that I've designed all through the thing. So if you go to my finals week, it's gonna look like this. I don't have it up for you yet, but then I'm gonna have all the different graphic organizers right here, okay? All the different graphic organizers. So I'm gonna pull up the muscular strength one. All the rest are kind of set up that kind of way. So what's gonna happen on that one, when I pull it up, What you're going to notice on that one is it's going to be clearly labeled with a warm up section, a muscular strength section, and a cool down. Now, the difference on the one for the final next week is you're going to do three segments of that muscular strength. So you're going to be picking a total of nine exercises. Okay, does, it, does that kind of make sense? Are you guys kind of following this? So you're going to pick your warm up section. Now, I don't care if your warm up section and cool down section are the same day each day. Okay. Whatever yoga flow you get comfortable to cool down, I'm totally fine with that, okay? Because that's going to be your cool down each day. Now, the body is going to be like this, your muscular strength. So you're going to pick a total of nine exercises. So you'll pick three for the first segment, three for the second segment, and three for the third, okay? And you're going to repeat. So this whole workout is going to be like close to a 45-minute workout. Now, if you can't complete that, I have no problem with it. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cater towards the high-level students and the students that are beginning their fitness journey. You guys understand that? So whatever you can. The expectation is just at least complete one. And part of that, that's all I'm gonna be able to see on Flipgrid anyways. You guys understand it's one segment. Because when the Flipgrid turns off or is done, just, just keep your workout going and turn in afterwards. We follow with that? We good? Okay. So this is muscular strength. So an idea of next week is all you have is these three workouts. There's gonna be three total workouts. It's going to be a muscular strength one, a muscular endurance one, and a cardiovascular one, okay? And you have a Mount My Run next week, so that's all you have to do. So I suggest you get your Mount My Run done this weekend, get that turned in, okay? And then you might do this one on Monday, another one maybe on Wednesday, and another one on Friday, whatever you want to do based on how sore you are. Am I going too fast? Are there any questions so far? We good? Okay. I got to calm down and realize you guys aren't excited about this as me. Okay. So... This is a muscular strength one. I have this one already up. I, I've been, I was working on it this morning. Okay. I'll pull up the cardiovascular endurance so you could see, so you get an idea of that. This is a cardiovascular endurance one. Okay. So you guys can see. So you'll turn in all three of these graphic organizers. So it'll be a graphic organizer in muscular strength, muscular endurance, cardiovascular endurance. And those are the three workouts you're gonna do. Are there any questions on that? Okay. So what I would suggest now is you guys kind of, um, kind of plan your week out next week. Get all this week's assignments done. Plan out your week next week when you're gonna do these and when you're gonna do it. I would suggest you get them all designed in one day and then based on your schedules, like how many of you guys have jobs? Sure, a couple of you guys have jobs because that was a cool thing during um, during COVID time as a lot of teenagers were able to get jobs. And now they're like, oh, I still want to keep my job, but I want to I want to do school too. Um, so what I would suggest is you make a timeline of when you could do these workouts. Now, remember, the expectation is you complete one rotation of, but if you're like an athletic person in a workout, I suggest you try two or three of those rotations. Do you guys understand? So it's kind of like that. Now notice I've designed all these workouts to be workouts based along with someone having no equipment. Okay, now, if you guys go into quarter two with me, 
I don't mind if you do these workouts with equipment. There's going to be ways to do this with equipment or at a gym. Okay, you guys understand that? And that's why I want to help facilitate you guys to reach your fitness goals with all that. Okay? Are you guys good with that?